The first anatomist to discover the clitoris was an Italian, Rinaldo Columbus. In 1559, he passionately described it as the seat of love, so pretty and useful, amor venerous. But Columbus's work totally disappeared. 100 years later, the Dutch anatomist, René de Graaf, thought he'd discovered the clitoris. He was convinced that without the pleasures it gave, no woman would agree to bear children. But then, for another 200 years, the clitoris fell into oblivion. In 1844, the German anatomist, George Kobelt, finally published a series of excellent drawings. Medicine could no longer neglect it. In 1900, the clitoris clearly appears in Gray's Anatomy, the Surgeon's Bible. But then, curiously, in the 1948 edition, it has disappeared again. This book uh, is my trusty surgical anatomy book. The fact that there actually was no description whatsoever of the clitoris itself. So I thought, hmm, this is not very good. <laughs>